I was fighting some demons in the field, bitch. I'm deep in. Good morning, guys. I hope your 2K20 has been going well so far. If you are new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe so that you can join the family. If you are already subscribed, then leave a like and a comment on the video. Okay, so first and foremost, I'm using headphones for this video. So let me know if they sound too loud or static or anything like that. I just didn't feel like holding the phone because I'm in a lot of pain. I had a heart attack on the 21st and my heart attempted to stop three times. And basically all of that just came from uncontrolled pain. And then, you know, my birthday was yesterday and I just turned 31. I did not receive much which i am not shocked about but if you want to send me a gift or anything or support the channel my cash app and paypal will be in the description so please make, make sure you let me know in the box where it says for let me know what it's for also i have intros written typed up and everything for my intro to my book like we just did the intro maybe not even three weeks ago and i've just been you know giving them to people so if you want one of the introductions or if you want more than one copy of it cash at me a dollar and back inbox me what your uh address is and i will send however many copies that you request okay um, the book has been postponed because I keep revising things because things continue to happen in my life that I be wanting to add to it. So I'm going to try to stop doing that so we can get this published. Um, now that we have covered all of that, let's get to what this video is really about. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware because it didn't get a lot of media attention about the 17 year old named Bryce Bryce Gowdy um, in Deerfield Beach, Florida, which I call everything Miami, even if they're like, no, it's Broward and Hollywood, Florida and all of that. No, <clears throat> it is Miami to me. I stay in Jacksonville, so you're going to let me say what I want to say, right? Anyway, um, this death is just tragic because of how young he was and how much potential he had. He was 17 years old. Um, him and his mom and brothers were homeless. So he had a lot of odds facing him, but he still managed to be good with academics and amazing with football because he signed with Georgia Tech not even, not too long ago. And um, obviously something happened because he threw himself in front of a train, and they said that the way he was thrown in front of it, that he threw himself in front of it, um, he did not die instantly. So that is just so tragic. I'm going to try to include a live that his mom did. I don't know how that works. I hope I don't get copyrighted or that they don't snatch the video down. So I will be playing a little bit of that video. And um, then we'll go ahead and try to get the discussion going. But I want to tell you what to look for during the time that I'm playing the video. Okay, so for one, I want to know if you think she's a narcissist. Because when I read some comments, people were saying that she was like, I, 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 me, me, me. That that's the vibe they got from her. And um, basically, if you think that, like, what if she would have took it differently when he tried to talk to her instead of getting mad at him and saying you, she had her own things to deal with and that he was stressing, overly stressing her out so she didn't have time to deal with his problems? 
And on top of that, he tried to hold her hand, and she said that she snatched it. She took her hand away. I want. Do you guys think that if she would have just listened to him and allowed him to hold her hand, do you think that maybe he would have reconsidered suicide? She said that he was beginning to see people for who they really were. This is what he told her. He was beginning to see people for who they really were, that he was seeing doors and mirrors. So to me, when he when I think of that, I think of it that it was a spirit. He was going through a spiritual awakening, and that can be very difficult because I'm going through it as well. And then you just feel like no one understands, and, you know, it's hard to try to explain some of the things that you see. Um, I've been, ever since I came out of a coma in 2017, I've been seeing angel numbers. Like, I was obsessed with it to the point where I would write down on a calendar which ones I see on which days. I read, a, I watched a video, and the man, some guy, said that um, angel numbers are demonic, and that when you see those numbers, it means a spiritual something bad is about to happen it's a spiritual attack so that kind of made me scared and I kind of backed up on looking at the um well when it happened I would try to look the other way and ignore it and I got obsessed with it like I said so I stopped writing it down because I thought it meant positivity I've had a lot of good things happen when I see those numbers so if you know about this please leave me a comment and let me know is it evil or is it you know good because to me i say it's good but i want to know what you think um i'm going to try to put the live in this video so that we can watch it together and i'm going to show you some pictures of him um this is bryce I cannot believe he was only 17. Wow, he was a beast. That is wow. You can tell he's from Florida, though. Because a lot of people in Florida do that, especially the ones from, you know, South Florida. They love doing that. That's where I first started to see guys do that, was in South Florida, which is why I call it Miami. I call North Florida Jacksonville and Central Florida is either Orlando or Tampa, Tallahassee, things like that. I'm just weird. Um, but anyway, let me try to find this live. And like I said, I'm probably not going to play the entire live because I don't know how that works with um, with YouTube. Like these days, they will snatch any and everything down. Like, for real, for real. They, and they don't care. And then you just lose your videos. Um, why is this doing this? Because I just found it. I was redoing the video to see if I can make it shorter for you guys. Which I have. So that's an accomplishment. Because I know someone is like, you had the video for 30 minutes when it could have been put in for 10. No, you just have a short attention span. And um, I don't, so maybe this just is not the channel for you if you feel like my videos are too long. A lot of the times, it's a lot that I want to get out, and then most of the time, it's because I ramble. I get that, and I'm, and I'm working on that. I really am working on it. So I'm going to give the person credit. Um... As far as the video that I'm going to play, I try, I'm try. i trying to find the guy. It was a guy who had the video or whatever. And it was way, way, way shorter. But let's try this one and see what happens. For tonight about the tragic death of a teen killed by a freight train in Deerfield Beach. That high school football star was set to attend college in the fall. Local 10 News reporter Andrew Perez spoke with his coach today and also has the emotional message from that teen's mother. And this one is just a heartbreaker, Andrew. 
Absolutely. This teen's mother actually believes that he took his own life. The bottom line here, he needed help. She says she's just trying to get through this right now. I couldn't stop crying because I knew it was my baby. I knew it. The horror and heartbreak playing out on Facebook Live. Very openly, she talks about the moment she found out her son, Bryce Gowdy, was gone. Brandon kept telling me he wouldn't do something like that, but he hasn't ever acted like how he's been acting for the last three days. He's a kid that brought others. Like he was he was magnetic. Deerfield Beach head football coach Javon Glenn says the team was a standout in academics and even more so on the football field. He had the whole world ahead of him. A Deerfield Beach football star, one of the top wide receivers in the country, Gowdy was just days away from a new life at Georgia Tech on a promising football scholarship, but he was dealing with several issues, and this new chapter was taxing. You got to figure now, there's no football, so there's no practice, there's no... Okay, so this video, it, it goes to WPLG Local 10. I am giving them credit. I was trying to find a guy that I watched before because he had the whole video without the news clip. But you can go find it. Just type in Bryce Gowdy, and I'm pretty sure it'll come up on YouTube or Google search. So I just, yeah, please go and watch that entire video. And then I want you to come back to my channel, and I want you to leave a comment and tell me, do you think this could have been prevented had his mom listened to him? Do you feel his mom is a narcissist? And... In the back of my head, I'm kind of wondering, did someone push him in front of that train? I'm not saying that that's what happened, so do not take that as facts. But that's something that, that's a theory that I was just thinking of. Like, what if somebody told him to meet them there and they did that? Another thing is the number four. We already know how that's connected with the spiritual world. So it's really crazy that he committed suicide at four in the morning. Because his mom said that his phone and his wallet and everything, he had left it at home. So I wonder if someone told them to meet them there and don't bring your belongings or something. Like I said, that's just a theory of mine. So I'm going to end the video because like I said, I'm trying to take into account what you guys, you know, say. I like the I like constructive criticism. So that's why I'm working on trying to make the video shorter and uh we're already at 12 minutes so i'm doing pretty good with that let me know if you want to hear about the story time like i'm so serious because if you want to hear about it hmm, it's very interesting um another thing i want to say happy 22nd birthday to jose Dwayne Alfroy. i miss you so much i miss your facetimes your messages text messages and your little goofy you know, little goofy FaceTimes. I just really miss you, bro. So, oh my gosh, and you are so gorgeous. Oh, X was just, whoa. He was perfect. <laughs> I'm so mad. I could have had that. And look what you did. You took him away from everybody. You, you, why did you do that? Y'all could have took that money and left him alive. I think X was probably whooping that butt. And you needed them guns. That's what I think. Or another thing I was thinking about was, why well, was I don't know. I'm not even gonna say that. Maybe I'll save it for another video. But I have another theory with X's death and Juice World's death. So let me know if you want to hear about that, and I will make those videos for you. Um, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to share the video then please do but i am more concerned with the likes because that seems to be what youtube pays attention to is the likes and the views we've already accomplished 1k so i know we can accomplish getting my views up i know we can do it if we all work together i appreciate all the support um i think i already shouted out columnata media so i'll do it again Big shout out to Kaluminati Media, Kaluminati Media, aka Tommy, and his subscribers that came over, showed me love, and helped me reach my goal. So I know that we can get the views up. You know, we can definitely do it. We just gotta 
you just gotta do, really just there's nothing to it but to go ahead and do it oh wow i should be a rapper anyway y'all i'm sorry i'm rambling we'll end the video i might do another video and that video will be about destiny harrison so i need you to let me know if you want to hear the theories about x and juice world that i have and if you want me to do a video about story time the story time that just happened. If you want me to do a story time about what just happened yesterday. If you want to give me a gift or support the channel. Like I said, the Cash App and the PayPal is in the description. Um, I'll put my Facebook and my um, IG into the description as well. So that if y'all want to send me topics or if you just want to talk, I'm here. Okay? Even though I'm in pain. I will definitely listen and try to help you to get past it. All right. So y'all have an amazing day and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye bye.